Congratulations on the film. Um, I took my stepdaughter. She was smiling from ear to ear. She's a big Dora fan. She wishes that she could meet you guys both today. How Thank old you. is she? Four. Four. Oh my gosh. Oh, she baby. loved it. Um, <sighs> but I gotta ask, so Dora faces one of the biggest challenges in this film, it's high school. She explores high school. Uh, how has Dora's mindset changed at all, if it, if it has? Um, I think that it's foreign territory. I mean, she says, she refers to the people who go there as the indigenous, indigenous people, people and just is really studying them as a culture rather than as something, I don't know. I really don't know. It's it's really, it's a funny dynamic though. I'm yeah. here for it. Yeah, I know. We, we see Dora and Diego when they're six years old and they're pretty much inseparable. And then Diego moves to the city, he moves to Los Angeles and Dora stays behind and grows up in the jungle and they reunite when they're 16. And the Diego she remembers is kind of shoved away deep down inside. <laughs> he's still there, but he, you know, he's trying to trying to just fit in in high school. And put it in metaphorical terms, he ate the candy bar that Dora saved. Right. So okay. He yes. He ate his childhood That's true. a long time ago. The one ago. that they split. Yes. The one that they split before they. Um. Left. Speaking of Diego and Dora, can you talk to me about their relationship when they are in high school? It's a lot different from when they were six. Yeah. It's like, uh, you ever have you have an older brother? No, a younger older brother. Older sibling. Okay, well, I feel like my relationship with Diego is like my older brother and I's relationship. Um, like, they're always, you know, we're just like the loud sibling that always wants to have fun. And the older sibling's like, no, we can't do that. I'm grumpy all the time. It's like that, I think. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think Diego has a really cool arc in the movie. And he, yeah, he, you know, is in high school and sometimes just want to go with the flow to just make his life less miserable because high school is high school and sure. you know teenagers are moldable in a lot of ways and but when Dora comes and is just so unapologetically herself she ruins all that and really helps him f find his truth and, and 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 get in touch with who you know he who really is yeah also as actors what did you guys take away from playing these roles because they I mean there are tons of lessons not just for kids but for for adults as well but what did you guys as actors take away from playing these roles I learned that I can handle a, a lot more and go through a lot more than I think I was capable of doing. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I this movie alone, I, you know, the fact that James Bowman trusted me to carry it and just really be on set every day working and giving it my all is just an honor and a pleasure and I'm really just proud of myself for doing it. Yeah, I, for me, I mean, this is a show I used to watch when I was a little kid. Um, my childhood best friend actually came out to Australia and and visited with us for a couple weeks and was on set with us. In a lot of ways, I've just felt like it was this weird, like get, just like finding, like getting in touch with my inner child. Everyone has an inner sure. child, you know. And 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 going back to high school in this movie and having my 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 childhood best friend come just felt like it just everything just made sense to me and. It was nice to, to get in touch with that inner child. You don't always get to do that, especially living in, in big city like you know Los Angeles where I live, and that was cool. I mean, it's very cool to see a lot of representation on the screen as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, let's be honest, it, it took, it's, Dora's been on for 20 years, yeah. roughly. And I guess the, it was just waiting for the right people to play the roles. But what does it mean to you guys to play these iconic roles that mean so much to so many? Well, she's a year older than me, and so I grew up with Nora, basically. Mm -hmm. I grew up watching her and my little brother and I, every day before school, we'd watch it. And, you know, I, I thought it was really important to do justice to the original character, but also expand on it, yeah. you know, because we are bringing it to life, making it 3D. And so that was really fun. I think for me, it, 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 it gives me such a, it's like a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Like we, we recently had a screening in Miami, um, which is a very, very Latino sure. market. And it's where I grew up. And um, I just remember seeing like a lot of little kids that look like they could be my little siblings. Right. And I just remember that really touching me in, in a special way that I, I wasn't expecting. I was just like, man, this is awesome. Like they're going to be able, it, it, representation is just, it's important to see people who look like you on screen. Right. And I a mean, whole my, cast full of them too. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't shy away from it. My little stepdaughter, she's, she's half Ecuadorian. So it's the okay. same, same kind of thing, right? Yeah. So she would turn to me and was like, do you know Spanish? I was like, no, but I got to like <laughs> learn now. <obviously." laughs> um, another question I had is uh, when you're in the sun costume, there's a great dance sequence. Yeah. Which was your, what was your favorite dance move? And was that all like improv? Or oh, no, there was like a whole choreography because at the end of the movie we do that but like sure. at a higher it comes back around and we're and, all doing it at the same yeah, time yeah but um in the during the scene i thought it was just 
Dora's just mimicking the dances that she knows. You know how we all pull out the soldier boy or like the dab. <laughs> or the, you know, we all do that stuff that we know that we grew up the with. The soldier boy? <laughs> Is this 2007? It's Y2K. We're referencing a Y2K show. But no. Dora, mocks, Dora mocks the animals that she's surrounded by when she's um, a kid. So, mm. I mean, it only makes sense. She's doing what she knows. Yeah, she's right, doing right, what right. she knows. Yeah. You can't, like, you know. Can't knock her for it. Yeah. Poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> How difficult was that? I mean, that final dancing feels like a big, like almost like Bollywood style type type of scene. Exactly. How how difficult was was that to to get all those moves? I mean, it seems like you guys are pretty natural at dancing. Though. We it was difficult, but it was more fun than anything. I think physically it was really demand. I mean, I remember being really sore after that. Mm -hmm. But me and me and Isabel always say like, there's nothing like dancing in unison with 200 other people because sure. that's how many people we had. It just gives you this this high that you can't explain. Like, it's just like, it was a life highlight, honestly. Yeah. Going forward, I mean, look, cause this can be uh, like almost like an Indiana Jones for like a lot of young kids out mm -hmm. there, like their version of Indiana yeah, Jones. Yeah. Where would you like to see the characters kind of explore, exploring next? <sighs> I mean. That's a good question. We've been throwing around this stuff. Is Japan, Japan, Brazil. Brazil. Um, I don't know, college? Whoa. That'd be funny. Oh, that'd be, Dora, that'd be, explores that'd be college. <laughs> Dora explores college. Dora explores college. Dora explores fraternities. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a whole other, whole other thing. Um, That'd be funny. <laughs> what did you guys learn on set from uh, from Michael and um, and Eva? Because they, they, they loved you guys. So what did, what did you guys learn from them? I think for me, they are such talented improvisers. And being, able, being around other talented improvisers, excuse me, is so... You learn so much just watching them work. Sure. And they're all real friends in real life. And it's fun to be around them. Yeah, Eva was really, really multitasking the whole time. Yeah, she had um, just had a baby. Yeah, it's so crazy. she was breastfeeding and memorizing her lines yep. at the same time. It's yep. crazy to see that. Um, there's so much that people can take away from this, uh, whether you're a kid or an adult, <clears throat> whether it be inclusion or just be who you are. What are you hoping audiences take away from Dora? I hope that people take that positivity that she has and that, and that willingness to be herself in every situation and just use it in real life because yeah. instead of this culture where it's cool to be by yourself and completely solo and and not care about anything, I think seeing a movie like this is really, really important, not just for kids. Like adults can still learn from that. Well said. <laughs>